It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the owner of More Than Balls Independent Sports News, Kaylin Bushhorn. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to start your own independent sports news company? Yeah. So as a D3 athlete, I noticed um, the glaring discrepancies between men's and women's sports. And I wanted to use my graphic design skills to find a way to close the gap between men's and women's sports coverage. And more than just balls was a way to do that. How did you come up with the name of your independent news source more than just balls? Um, it, I wish I had a cool and fun like story, but it just kind of came to me. Um, naming things and especially since I have such a creative mind has always been really easy for me. And so I, I wanted it to speak for itself um, and not have to explain it and talk about how sports are more than just a male dominated industry. Like there are women that are succeeding and doing so many great things. And so the name was kind of just born out of like a five second. Oh, that would be funny. Um, and then I ran a couple, I ran it past a couple friends and family members and they were like, no, run with that. Um, and so that's kind of how it was born. I wish there was a more fun story, but not really. What are some of the things that you offer for more than just balls? Um, so I run mainly off of Twitter and Instagram. I do have a website, but um, I'll post a couple blogs there every now and then. But I just cover as much as I can being a college student and running it by myself. I just try and cover um, all the leagues of women's sports as well as breaking news or just statistics that can help to promote the growth of women's sports of course when you talk about the leagues what leagues do you cover obviously you must cover the WNBA but what other leagues do you cover besides the WNBA yeah so I cover the WNBA um hockey both of those leagues um athletes unlimited the NWSL um basically any and every women's sports league that you can think of what is it like, obviously, covering Athletes Unlimited, knowing, obviously, you work with Athletes Unlimited? I think it's really interesting because I've been able to get to know the girls and see the company grow and how beneficial it's going to be to the women's sports future. Um, and so it's interesting to cover them, but they're two separate entities for me. So they're separated um, and I keep them as such. Can you talk about, of course, what you do with Athletes Unlimited? Yeah, so I'm a social media intern, so I help um, like some daily tasks, just like posting on social or um, anything that they might need. So it's been really eye opening to see, um, especially since that's something I want to do as my future career. How has Athletes Unlimited helped you into obviously having this independent news source of more than just balls? I think definitely having that mentorship from um, people within the content team, as well as just seeing the founders, John and Jonathan, um, and their love for women's sports has helped um, boost my love even further. What is it like to have it overlap and obviously work with athletes, professional athletes at that, that are women playing softball, volleyball, and lacrosse, and also covering obviously women's sports. I think it's cool because I'm able to see them as people rather than just stories because most of the things that I promote on my page is really just stories because I don't have a personal connection to them. But being able to see these girls play live and cover them for Athletes Unlimited has been really cool to see how much women's sports means to people. What are some of your favorite memories and moments of covering obviously women's sports with more than just balls? Um, I think my favorite memory would be seeing um, all of the statistics come out on viewership and how much it's growing, but at the same time, being able to cover the discrepancies um, within 
women's basketball or NCAA this past year, especially the um, softball um, college world series and being able to kind of cover all the discrepancies between there and try and help make the change that is really necessary. Of course, as you cover women's sports, what was your thought on obviously the NWHL changing their name this previous season? I think it's really cool to see them take that um, kind of description of women out of the league because that's something that's so needed because like we don't call it the MNHL like there's no qualifier to the NHL and I think it's so cool to see that a league is taking the step to take that women's sports out of there and just call them athletes because that's what they are Um, and I think it's a good step in the right direction um, of gender equality in sports. As you also cover what was it like seeing honestly Candace Parker be on the NBA cover? I think that was so cool. Getting to cover that um, was just one of the one of my most memorable moments, especially since I've watched her play basketball growing up. And I think to see all the um, NBA athletes respond and how much support they had for her was so cool because you see these athletes, they're supporting these women. So why aren't sponsors um, supporting them? Um, and I think it's a huge step for women's basketball, but also women's sports as a whole to see such such a dominant athlete in their sport on a video game like the uh, the NBA 2K. Of course, as obviously Candace Parker is on the NBA 2K, and there has been teasers of obviously the PHF coming out with a video game. What are your thoughts on obviously having more video games with women's sports on the cover? Yeah, and I, I think that's really cool, especially since like we say it all the time, but men's Um, sports are not inherently male and I think that goes for video games too like I played video games growing up I played FIFA so I think it's really cool to have that representation um, within video games as well because that is how some young athletes start um, is they start by playing sports video games so having that having that ability to see someone like you on a cover um, is really really cool. Of course, as you talked about FIFA and stuff, do you see obviously FIFA and the U.S. soccer coming together to make a women's sport video game for obviously the NWSL along with the national teams? I would hope so because I we're so dominant um, in the U.S. women's national team, and I think there's such a market for it, and they're basically losing money by not um, grabbing that market and demographic that they could be using because I personally play it and I know a bunch of people that would play it I think my followers would play it um and I think it would help grow the game of soccer um and get more visibility out there of women's soccer what are some of the things that you do with athletes unlimited that helps you in obviously your independent news source I think definitely learning how to schedule posts and then create a social calendar is really helpful Um, especially like just the whole staying organized part, uh, being an NCAA student athlete, um, as well as a full-time student. It just really helps me to understand when is the best time to post? When should I be posting? um, What am I posting and when? So time management is definitely a big part of it. What is it like being an NCAA student athlete playing lacrosse? Um, It's been one of my greatest joys. I think I, coming from Texas, I didn't really think I had the opportunity to play. Um, And now I'm up in Maryland playing. And I think it's so cool to be able to, I guess, show the next generation that it's possible because um, lacrosse is such a small and close knit community. And I think it's really cool to show people back um, where I'm from that it's possible to play in the NCAA. Of course, being a student athlete in the NCAA, what is it like also covering the NCAA in women's sports, not just professionally? So I try and kind of separate my NCAA self from my more than just ball self because I am covering. But I think even being an, a student athlete in the NCAA, it's more important to me that these changes are made because I see them every day. And so having the ability to try and make change has been really special to me. Of course, as we talked about earlier, having video games for women, do you see, obviously, the NCAA coming out with 
let's say video games for women's sports such as softball volleyball soccer i don't think i see the ncaa potentially coming out with it um but maybe another entity um kind of using those players within the ncaa um i don't think the ncaa would ever delve into that industry um so i think just having a separate entity that could create those games but I definitely think it could happen in the future. We could see uh, college sports, especially like we see the football um, video games. Of course, being an NCAA athlete, what was it like this previous year covering, obviously, the news about, obviously, women's sports and the equal quality against men's sports this previous year? Yeah, it was depressing at times just because I wasn't shocked that it was happening. Um, but I was surprised that it was still happening because we had such an interesting year last year to where they could really promote women's sports because there wasn't much um, going on and they could put a lot of their um, time, money and effort into women's sports and that just didn't happen. Um, and coming from a school that promotes women's sports very well, I think it was so glaring to see the discrepancies and that they needed to be covered. What are some of your future plans with more than just balls? Yeah, so I'm a senior, so I'm graduating this year um, and I'm applying to grad school. So I'm hoping just to keep growing it and learning from my experience within school and work. Of course, after you graduate and stuff and obviously your college career ends, what are some of your plans when you move forward in obviously, let's say, five years from now after you graduate with more than just balls? Yeah, I definitely want to keep it going because I think it's needed and I think we're starting to close the gap. Um, and I think even having my um, company is helping to spur more companies to be created. And so if I could just convince one girl to stay in sports because she sees someone represented on my site and it's like, that looks like me, um, that is the biggest joy. Um, just getting those DMs from girls saying that they're inspired or thank you for just coming out and saying these things because no one else is. Um, I think that's what keeps me going and why I want to keep it going even in the next five years. Of course, what advice would you give people looking to start their own sports independent news source and obviously cover women's sports and start their own sports empire? Yeah, it's going to be hard mentally at times because there are so many trolls, but I think just knowing the greater purpose and that people are going to come back at you just because it is women's sports. And we all see the comments that are left on sports center. Um, and so I think just having like a tough skin and knowing that you're doing something so great and going and saying and reading those comments and dwelling on those is not going to help. So just having a positive mindset and knowing that you're making true change um, would be my piece of advice for people that want to start. Um, news sources. Where can my listeners find obviously your news source at on social media and obviously if you have a website? Yeah, so it's www.morethanjustballs.com um, and then our Twitter is at more than balls and then Instagram is at more than just balls. Thank you again for your interview and best of luck in your future with more than just balls. Thank you so much. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Kaylin, for your interview, and best of luck with your future with more than just balls. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.